Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at CQT. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. If you haven't seen the previous update, make sure to watch that before watching this one. It's going to be linked in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now, taking a look at covalence token here on the daily, we have a Fibonacci retracement set from this swing low that we printed in July of 2022 all the way up to the high that we printed in August of 2021. And as you can see right now, we are running into the 0.382 level at 20 cents. That's going to be a major resistance level for us to break. We broke below it in May last year with the Luna pullback or the uh, Terra Luna pullback and their scam project. And we ran into this level over here. So we basically back tested the previous support level as resistance, which is technically what you do. You break below, back test as resistance, and you move back down. Zooming into the daily chart a bit more, we have a support block here. As you can see, if I change the color and I bring the opacity slightly higher, and let's do that. Let's have it as a blue color. So this blue support block is very important as we have been holding it as resistance for a couple of weeks here, actually a couple of months, I should say. So from November, if I even move back here, you can see this was a major level actually dating, taking us all the way back here to May of 2022. So this is a very important level. So we had a bounce in May, broke below, back test of resistance, another back test of resistance, another back test of resistance, another back. So we've been back testing this as resistance for almost, almost a year. Well, I would say seven months, roughly eight, seven to eight months. And then we had a break to the upside in January and now we're holding it as support. So technically this is very good. This is what we should be doing. So the support block is anywhere between 13 and a half cents all the way down to 12 cents. That's going to be a major buying opportunity for anyone, anyone looking to get into this low cap gem. Personally, I have quite a bit of CQT tokens and I'm planning to get more as I get continue getting my paychecks. So yeah, until we start breaking above 20 cents, I think I'm going to be dollar cost averaging into this project because I think the potential and room for growth is incredibly incredibly large so i think they're going to be doing great things moving forward especially when the bull market arrives and they start getting more listings i think that will obviously help with the price action a lot and taking a look at the fib here the 0.236 level is going to be a major support level for us to hold at around about 11 and a half cents so uh, as far if we drop below this right and we have a, some sort of a flash crash whatever this is going to be a good level to dollar cost average in but if we're dropping below such a strong, strong support level, something bad has to, has to happen. And if that happens, you have to understand that we may go even lower, even coming back down to this lower support block that we have here set up between 6.5 cents all the way down to 5, 8 cents. So this is something that you have to understand is if we're losing the support block, you know, things are could get nasty and we could continue all the way down here. So you might as well be dollar cost averaging throughout this dip so that when you are selling at the peak of the next bull market, hopefully, which is going to be around about ten dollars. If we manage to get there, of course, potentially we could go even higher considering the current market cap is way below 100 million tokens or million dollars then uh, it doesn't really matter if you're selling at $10. It doesn't matter if you bought in at 15 cents, at 14 cents, at 12 cents. You're just glad that you bought in at these low prices so that you can sell with massive, massive profits. Taking a look at the daily chart, let's see what's going on here. So we have a major resistance level that we've been running into for, for a better part of a year now. So since April of 2022, we've been retesting that as we've been retesting that as resistance and we have a blue support trend line here that we're back testing as support. So obviously we do have some fake outs here and there, but usually this is this is what we're looking at for good buying opportunities. So once we go below or around the blue trend line here, that's where I would be entering. So if we see pullbacks like this, this is where I would be entering here. So that's a good buying opportunity. And if you're moving to the upside and you get to the overbought, just like you did over here multiple times, that is a very good selling opportunity if you're looking to sell. Of course, if you're holding long term and you're holding for the next five to 10 years, you don't have to be selling. You can do whatever you want. 
I'm just saying that if you're looking for a nice swing trade, whenever you get above the index of 70 on the RSI, that is a good, good area to take some profits. And all of my swing trades are available on my Patreon as well. So we do have another support, uh, support level building up here. So this is going to be sort of a support block, actually. So let's see how we can do this. There we go. There we go. So as you can see, since October of 2022, we've been holding this as support. This support block here, let me just change the color so it stands out a bit more. Bring the opacity up. There we go. So this yellow support block is very important as we have been holding it multiple times. Every single time we enter this block, we have a move to the upside, whether it is, uh, you know, back testing this uh, resistance trend line that we have this pink trend line or whether it's going into the overbought. So this is something that you have to understand. And we just had another bounce at the end of March here a few days ago. So if you break below this, that is when we might start seeing the price move below 12 cents here on the on the daily chart. Let me bring out um, there we go. Let me bring out the price action once again. So if we start losing the the RSI level there, that that probably means that we're somewhere either at the 0 0.236 support level or even below that. So this is how, how you can see that if we start doing that, you could be expecting a move all the way back down toward this yellow support block below us, which is anywhere between 24.8 down to 19.9 or 19.09 on the index. And that's actually our bottom here in April of 2022 in May in June and of course in July, but we didn't quite get there in July. So that's regarding the daily RSI here. But so far, you're just sitting in the middle, really. If we see a strong pullback down, great. If we see a strong move to the upside and you still haven't bought back in, I would just wait a little bit before buying in because this is a low cap project. Usually it can be very volatile, so it's probably going to come back down if it had a strong move to the upside. Now let's switch over to the weekly chart real quick to see what's going on here. And let's remove the drawings actually to make it more easier on the eyes. So on the weekly chart, we're holding the 20 EMA, which is perfect. This is exactly what you need to be doing. And as you can see on the daily chart, we were in this massive uptrend or channel up pattern. Hopefully we break above the resistance of the channel and we start moving to the upside. But as you can see, you've really been consolidating here above the 20 EMA not really having any impulsive moves to the upside if you don't count these large wicks. And there is a lot of selling pressure above below the 55 EMA. But I think once the price breaks the 55 EMA and we manage to get above this trading range here that we created in 2022 in between February and March, once we get out of that, I think the all time high is just a matter of question or a matter of time, I should say. The weekly RSI is slightly higher than I would like to see it, which is something that I don't like because if the RSI is this high already, we could be seeing a move to the upside and getting above the overbought already by the end of the year, which is not really good because ideally you want to be sitting as low as you can before you enter the bull market. But, you know, we've been retracing from that point since September of 2022. So this has been quite the uptrend for CQT. And we've been moving up impulsively since July, really. And from that low in July, we actually have moved up 357%. Uh, actually, let me get that on point. So that would be 412%. So we've done a 5x. And right now we're sitting at 3x, even a bit slightly more than 3x. So this project seems very strong. A lot of buyers were not really dipping along with the markets when we, we see dips. So since July last year, we've actually seen quite a few you know, pullbacks in the market. But as you can see, covalent hasn't really dropped that much. So that's a, a strong sign. And this is the channel up pattern that I was talking about. Usually you tend to see break downs from this pattern and usually you come back down to retest a key support level or you come back down to where you created this pattern. But in CQT's case, if we continue this bullish and we break above the resistance, you could be looking at 49.9 or 50 cents roughly come August this year. So that's when I expect the major bull trap to happen before we see a strong capitulation or a strong correction and before we start retracing into the next bull market, into the next happening 
for Bitcoin. So this is what I have for CQT. Anything in this blue support block, I'm going to be buying and anything below that, of course, as well. Right now, I'm just going to wait for a bit of a pullback. If we don't pull back, 15 cents is still very, very cheap. Thank you all for watching the video. If I missed out anything important, let me know down below in the comment section. Also, let me know what are your long term bull market targets for CQT. Thank you all for watching the video and I'm going to see you in the next update. Take care and good night.